when it comes to dice, dividers, tokens, and other accessories for Magic the Gathering, there's a whole host of items to utilize. That's why this video will compare and contrast the Tarmo die from Star City Games, Monster Rocks from Cape Fear Games, the Zinc Spin Downs from Kaka Popo, and the Oracle Inserts from Oracle. Where do each of these fall on the spectrum of function versus pure fluff? Let's take a look. Let's begin with Monster Rocks from Cape Fear Games. Sold in sets of 12, Monster Rocks are six-sided die meant to represent Magic the Gathering creature tokens. On each side is both a creature emblem as well as numerical power toughness from one through six. In other words, one side is a 1-1, one, one, another a 2-2, two, 3-3, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, and 6-6. Six, six. This allows 1-D-6 to act as one of six potential tokens you might utilize during gameplay. And since these are essentially numbered one through six, they can still be used to roll as a traditional D6. Because of the emblem and power toughness marking, it is easier to indicate when a die is tapped than, say, with a regular D6. Being able to use one die for six potential tokens is also advantageous in terms of size and storage. Where do these fall on the function versus fluff scale? I'd say somewhat more towards function than fluff. Yes, they look nice, can be seen as adding style to your gameplay. And of course, there is always the reasonable argument of just using actual tokens during gameplay. But there's a real function here here as well, letting a handful of compact D6s represent a host of potential creature tokens makes for both saving space and multi-purpose. Anyone playing with a massive token deck who has had to dig endlessly for their 5-5 token through a pile of 1-1s and 2-2s can see the appeal. Each order contains 12 of these six-sided die and comes with the dice cube. The cost is $11.99 for 12. The grade is a solid B. These these are neat and will appeal to many players. Next up from Kaka Popo are designer dice, or more specifically, designer spin down dice. Kaka Popo's solid metal zinc D20 spin down dice are a beauteous thing to behold. Measuring 30 millimeters across, they are about 20% larger than traditional plastic spin downs, but they can still fit in the dice tray of your monolith or wormwood sentinel. Their considerable weight makes it difficult to accidentally knock over over or off the table during a game. The corners are crisp and precise, and the lettering is bold and easy to read. Best of all, these are spin downs, and so the sequencing of the numbers is easy to follow as your life total increases or decreases. These spin downs come in four different finishes and enamel lettering to suit your style, depending on what you're playing or what best defines you. Where do they fall on the form versus fluff scale? Almost entirely fluff. The only real function here is the added weight to decrease the chances of accidentally knocking one over or off a table. But let's be honest, these are essentially just bling. Still, there's no thing wrong with a little bling. Elegant, well-finished, and unique, these will definitely make a statement during your game. Definitely a collector's item if I've ever seen one. The overall grade, it's another solid B. Oracle inserts are an accessory boasting to give your cards added stability as well as protection, all the while adding style and flair to your cards. The inserts are transparent plastic with a stylized hologram of a shape or design that is meant to slip in between card and sleeve. Once inserted, the oracles add their unique design to the front of your cards without actually altering the card itself. They 
also add quite a lot more glare. Available as skulls, broken glass, red flames, or just an overall rainbow foil-like quality, I can't say as I see any function to these beyond pure fluff. I suppose it could be argued that these do add a rigidity to your sleeved cards, but I want to be clear that these are not sleeves themselves, and using these in no way offers the same protection of double sleeving. I also found that the insert's image visibility varied greatly. The broken glass samples were dramatically in my face to such an extent that I had difficulty reading the cards, while the broken skulls and fire styles were very hard to see, to such a point that more often than not the image was not visible to myself or my opponent. However, the added glare and cloudiness of the insert was. Oracle inserts make your deck thicker, akin to having double-sleeved cards, but again, without any of that protection. I would also advise speaking to your tournament organizer and on-site judges before using a deck with Oracle inserts in any competitive event. While I have no problem with premium bling or fluff-only items, I do not see the inserts as working as advertised, with their images either being too strong or too light. The lack of styles available is disappointing, but not so much as the significantly increased glare that these add to your cards. Perhaps this idea would work better as actual perfect fit sleeves, but at $15.99 per 100, this is not something I can recommend, and the grade is a D for do not buy. Next, Star City Games brings us the Tarmo die, a special die sold individually or as a set of four, meant to make the all-powerful Tarmogoyf a bit more user-friendly. Tarmo dies are set for the variable power tough of a Tarmo Goyf, displaying 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, and so on for eight sides of an octagonal shaped die. The die is large, has a bit of heft to it, although not by much, and has clear, easy to read numbers. In general, I like Tarmo Goyf dice a lot, especially in just casual play, as keeping track of Goyf's power and toughness without them is often very irritating. Hey, before I attack, what's your Goyf at? All right, before I assign blockers, let me count my graveyard to see what my goyf is at. So while I do like the function of these, I am a little less keen on the overall size of the die and its shape. Now visibility is really high. The colors are crisp and bold, and I like that. You can see it from across the table very clearly. But with this large size, keeping four on you at all times is going to take up a lot of space. And while it does not knock over easily, it is far from risk-free in that area. Nonetheless, on the scale of form versus function, this is entirely function. It takes a commonly used and popular card with an often ambiguous power toughness and seeks to clarify for both you and your opponent, and in this regard, it succeeds with excellence. At $6.99 each, or a playset of four for $19.99, this isn't exactly cheap, but if your modern strategy is, has been, and will always be jund, then you likely will love never having to constantly remind your opponent what your goyf's power and toughness is again. Grade A-. minus. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. Links to all of these accessories for purchase are provided in this video's description, as well as a link to our affiliate store of Card Kingdom, which while it does not currently carry any of the items currently featured in this video, does carry a selection of my favorite and most highest graded items from across the years. From Ultimate Guard boulders, to Ultra Pro Eclipse sleeves, be sure to help out this channel just by visiting our affiliate link. And this program was made possible thanks to a sponsorship from Card Kingdom, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. So thank you.